Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, all right, bottom line, when we all come to this, everybody involved, when it comes to the issue of criminal aliens, the public safety is paramount uh, for uh, past victims as well as potential future victims. We agree on that? Yes, sir. Um, with these criminals under the custody of ICE, are there convicted sex criminals? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any idea how many? I, I think that number is available, but I don't have it in front of me. Okay. If you could provide that, I would appreciate it. In, but in to what, that specific... In 15, sir? The, the, from my understanding, in 15, there were almost 1,000 sex criminals released. That may and, be right. Okay. Let, let, let me go on from there. Of these sex offenders who are released back into society, does your agency notify law enforcement? We do, and this is something I think I testified about the last time I was here. I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that we have, we have stood up uh, the law enforcement notification system, whereby when we are releasing actually more than just sexual offenders but other criminals into a state that we believe they're going, they have indicated and they're going to a specific state, we notify them that they're you on notify the, who? The state uh, database. Usually it's the state office and, for example, in my state of Texas, in Austin, the uh, because uh, you promised last time you were here that by the end of 2015 that the states would, law enforcement would be notified. I spoke with the sheriff of Gwinnett County this week, which is the second largest county in America next to Harris County, Texas, where uh, criminal aliens are being released, and he says he does not hear from you. I, I did exactly as I promised. We did get the notification system up and running by the end of last year to the states. What we're working now is phase two. So, so let's just get cut to the quick of this. So you're saying that when an illegal alien sex offender or any other is released into a community, you are assuring me that law enforcement is notified? The state law enforcement, yes. The, the state that's responsible for all, all the local jurisdictions within. But not the specific counties? No, we have 254 counties in the state of Texas. It would be very difficult to do that, but we are trying. But isn't that where the rubber hits the road? Absolutely, and that's why we're in phase two, Congressman. We're in phase two, which is trying, we're, we're going to be communicating with the specific local jurisdiction. All right, what about victim notification? Are they notified when a criminal is released? Uh, Say so you have someone who is raped, the rapist is released in we, their community, is that victim notified? We have a criminal notification system just like the Department of Justice does with respect to the penal system and uh, people sign up for that and we do uh, issue notices. So let's suppose a rapist is released, uh, they do not register as we know many of them do not do on the sex offender registry. Uh, how does a previous victim know that that predator is released. They sign up. I think Mr. Root did this also with respect to his situation. He wanted to be advised about the proceedings with respect to uh, that particular illegal immigrant. But they sign up for the victim notification system, and that's how we give them that information. And all of them sign up? I can't say that all of them sign well, up. Well, I, I guess really my question has to do with the predators themselves, so who were released. I've actually introduced a bill, and I think that it closes this loophole, uh, H.R. 2793, it's called TRAC. It would require ICE to register these sex offenders on the National Registry when they are released. Uh, right now, that is required of every citizen of the United States who commits a sex crime. They are put on the National Sex Offender Registry. That is not the case with illegal aliens who commit sex crimes. And I don't understand that for one reason. It seems very commonsensical to me that if an illegal individual in this country commits a sex crime, they need to be put on the National Sex Offender Registry when they are released. Would you have a problem with that? with supporting that bill? Well, I understand that's what happens with respect to any person. That's it does not happen with respect to illegals. Well, That's the point. And my concern is uh, 
they, they, we expect the person to, uh, to. Do you really expect a person to put themselves on a national sex offender registry? That's, it doesn't. It doesn't happen. Well, that's what you all have provided for with respect to. Would sex Would offender. you have a problem? with ICE being required to make sure that they are put on the National Sex Offender Register? I'd, I'd certainly like to look at that and study it, sir. Yes. I would like, uh, Mr. Chairman, to encourage all our colleagues to get on board with H.R. 2793. This is a common sense approach to close an enormous loophole by requiring these people to be put on the National Sex Offender Registry. Uh, 2793? 27? 2793. Thank you, sir. Thank I you, think Mr. the gentleman, um, the chair.